faith in our philosophy of philosophy. Thank you, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. You may have your seat. Whether all the cables here break, this deliberation continues. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, once again, may I, on behalf of the founder, his wife, and the executive management of the university, welcome you heartily to this year's convocation lecture. With your permission, may I invite to this side of the hall the convocation, the university orator, to give us an abridged citation of the convocation lecturer. The university orator, please. Mr. Ruti Miopayolua. Shall we celebrate him? And ladies and gentlemen, Mr. John Momo, please can you stand up on your feet? Mr. Chancellor, sir, standing before you is Mr. John Momo, the chairman of Channels Media Group and chairman and chief executive officer of Channels Television. He is a, renowned, he is a renowned broadcast journalist with a vast experience spanning four decades. Before founding Channels TV, John Momo worked variously as senior news anchor reporter and producer for Radio Nigeria and Nigerian Television Authority. After six years, he has grown from being a star employee to creating a multi-million dollar media enterprise, employing over 400 staff across Nigeria, Africa, Europe, and the United States, reaching the world with the same business model that some armchair critic and analyst predicted will fail. A distinguished lecturer our distinguished lecturer for 2018 is a red breed. In his lifetime, he has left remarkable achievements and in indelible footprints in the sa sand of time. Matter of fact, the verdict of history is that he has rendered services in media practice which succeeding generations shall consider imperishable. I beg you, especially students fortunate to be present here to listen to him, engage him and consider him a sage worthy of your attention is a master at the game of news gathering, dissemination, and recently an excellent media entrepreneur. He flaunts a dossier rich in experience and in the possibility of the dawn of infinite possibilities in Nigeria. He is a gadfly, a media mogul. His flight to the top is not sudden. It was and is still a steady rise with his gaze pointedly upward but backed with the dint of hard work. He walks the talk. It is said that he's an, he's an eternal optimist, unlike President Harry Truman of the United States of America. The box stops at his table. He takes responsibility with seriousness. Tales from the grapevine says that he is always glued to programs on his channels, both within and beyond Nigeria's national frontiers, and will not hesitate to instruct, correct, rebuke, and encourage his staffers as the occasion may demand. He's a highly decorate, he's highly decorated with multiple awards to show for his exploits. An absolute professional to the core. He comes with a sense of beauty and mission like few others in the industry. And little wonder that his media group, Channels Television, has won the National Merit Award for a record 12 times. And he's, <laughs> and he's still roaring for more. His exploits have become a beacon and a reference point in an industry that is currently anything but absolutely professional. He has remained steadfast, apolitical, professional, dutiful, respectful, truthful, and committed to the Nigeria of our dreams, insisting that by doing the thoughtful and maintaining the cardinal principles of journalism practice, such as when in doubt you leave out, he, he, be balanced and fair to all, and another is self-censorship when faced with national crises that could be escalated to wider dimension. In doing what is in tandem with his conscience and his professional ethos, he has attracted a sizable number of admirers in equal measures, but has remained unmovable like the rock of Gilbertra, 
This citation cannot substitute for a well-deserved applause for a man eternally committed to excellence. And having perched on the mountain top of excellence, is still burning with the fire to beat the best. That is John Momo, and that is the essence of what marks and sets him miles apart from his contemporaries. Is it right to say that he's a different breed? That is exactly my point. But beyond that, that it is a different kind. The kind that Nigeria earnestly needs in this trying hour. The lesson in the life of, Mon the lesson in the life of Mr. John Momo is that he has not abandoned the time-tested maxim that the reward of hard work is more work. He remains passionate about media profession and its practice. He has continued to ensure that he keeps to the ennobling tenets of the profession, even though the allure taken by some crooked party. Our August visitor has traveled the world both for pleasure and in search of knowledge. A man of infinite vision, he has mentored and continues to mentor a generation of broadcast journalists by personal example and exemplary conduct, spiced with humility. For him, he has taken media practice as a high calling. This rolling stone gathers moss. In December of 2015, Mr. John O. Momo was conferred with the National Honor, Honor of Officer of the Order of the Niger, ON. His other awards include Lifetime Achievement Award by the Nigerian Information Society, Entrepreneur of the Year by Faith Foundation, Entrepreneur of the Year by the Institute of Directors of Nigeria, Distinguished Alumni Award by the Lagos Business School, and the Zeek Award for Entrepreneurship. If there's one broadcast journalist in Nigeria, you don't have to look far or beyond John Momo. He is the defining personality of that profession. He has raised the bar and earned the trust and admiration of Nigerians on account of his eternal commitment to factual reportage. His media practice, his media platform continues to repel the darkness of divisive reportage by shining the light of truth and ensuring that our broken walls can be rebuilt again. He uses hope. He is a towering figure. His towering figure is not just about his physical physique, about his physique, but by his abiding commitment to live for others, a life spent in the service of humanity. It is said that when he sits, it is said that as he sits on the media, it is said that he sits on the media conglomerate with the presence of mind and perhaps business model that has made it possible to pay staffers at the end of every month. It is unthinkable not to pay staffers in Channels TV. That is no ordinary feat, given the pervasive and fiscal indiscipline and recklessness of some other media executives that makes such a mandatory obligation a Herculean tax. Ladies and gentlemen here present today, especially students of mass media communications and allied courses here present, invited guests, our Chancellor Sir, in the atmosphere of moral relativism and torpedo, charade, greed for power, and prop Purit Parfide, I present to you a man, a scion of professionalism and knight of excellence with dazzling brilliance, with an uncommon baritone voice which echoes in the air with the sheer mus musicality that is peculiarly his. A man in whom we all can and should actually take pride. A man of unblemished public record. A man in whom there is no girl. His name is John Mormon, a symbolic figure in our task for renaissance. a symbolic figure in our test for renaissance in Nigeria. I present to you a great broadcast journalist that can show the way, John Momo Owen. <laughs> 